Hi, this is Yasili from SAP Business One Solution Architect team. Um, nowadays, people um, asking, is it possible to create an integration scenario run with the periodical um, schedule around, maybe every every day or every midnight or every weekly? And then in addition, um, they would like to uh, making some additional um, RFC code um, to the SAP ERP or CRM system to retrieve the information and then download to business one or to uh, to other system so um, the answer is definitely yes um, in the following um, 30 minutes and I'm going to show you the live demo how to create um, a integration scenario to downloading the um, sales order um, in the period periodically uh, with them RFC call to the SAP ERP or CRM and then output the result to the file system or to business one. And then here's the um, scenario we are going to we are going to create um, in this session. And first, um, topic one we would like to learn and with the new feature um, in the B1I SM 8.8 uh, patch level seven, the latest patch. And patch uh, 07, and then the new um, system type um, vault has been introduced um, to supporting uh, to creating integration scenario without sender, and then that means we can we can trigger we can create a scenario trigger by menu by click the button uh, immediately start and then trigger the um, the processing, or either we can um, we can schedule to run the scenario um, with the uh, every every date or every week, and then in the following um, scenario, we are going to create a vault testing um, business package, and then the specific step we are going to um, in the vault, um, the sender will be vault, and then we are um, going to enable the trigger and by the um, menu, click by menu, immediately start, start and enable the um, scheduler uh, for this scenario, and then. The sender it will be vote and the processing and in in addition we would like to learn how to create an uh, additional call uh, by using the RFC by using a uh, coding RFC to get a, a list of sales order um, maybe by customer or by uh, by 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 document date something like that so it depends on uh, what what kind of a uh, BAPI call RFC call you have um, even we can have not just RFC call, we can have additional um, circle um, code or even um, business one code to business one to get a, um, have more step in the during the processing. And in the in the in the outbound phase, um, for the simple um, demonstration, and I would like to outbound the, the result into the into an XML file, or even we can just outbound the the sales order um, into the into business one sales order as well. But as you can see, the scenario is here. Uh, we would like to create a scenario to synchronizing the sales order um, periodically from SAP um, ERP or CRM to the file system to business one system as well, uh, with the additional um, uh, with the additional RFC call and without any um, sender trigger here. So, and here's the objective uh, for this session. Um, after this session, you should be able to uh, describe the new feature. Um, this available in the latest patch to be one i some an a point a and then how can we create a, a business package um, without sender using the vault um, sender system type and then how can we enable the scheduler um, setting or um, and the immediate um, start by the menu for uh, for the business package and then uh, last but not least uh, another very important topic how can we make an additional call uh, to RFC or to B1 or even to the circle call uh, inside the B1ISM um, processing? Okay, so um, let's have a look at the, the first topic uh, we're going to we're going to learn. Uh, we are going to create a very simple scenario, and the scenario will be um, enabled to trigger by the scheduler uh, by every day or every week, and we would like to enable to trigger um, by the menu as well. So uh, that's the new feature 
um, available in the V1 ISM um, 8.8 .8 patch 7. And then we are going to create a uh, we are going to create an outbound very simple outbound uh, file uh, for the first scenario. Not additional code in this case. We are going to learn um, the additional code. Uh, how can we make additional code? Um, in this sample, we would like to make an um, additional RFC code um, to the SAP um, um, ERP or CRM within the B1 ISM. And then the first one, okay. Um, here is the design for the bit package um, for the vault testing uh, for the inbound. Again, we would like to using the the vault and uh, without vault, this means no uh, no sender, and it can be triggered by the um, pure periodic scheduler or uh, by the menu I click start. And then uh, for the for the simple um, demo, I'm not going to uh, implement any XML transformation. Just by default, copy the vault node and then. And create XML file. Okay, so um, in order to um, again, in order to um, um, to use this feature, you need to have the latest um, U1 ISM um, U1 ISM 8.0 point eight seven or about version installed because this is a new feature available um, in the U1 ISM 8.0 point eight seven. So now I would like to show the live demo to create a, uh, this simple package for the first one. So just open your you want to add some tools and then go to the um, development tools and then um, graphical designer and just display and then just click the new button I would like to create a new package and the um, um, system identifier would be um, XX would be XX XX stands for your namespace for your company, for me, maybe SAP for you, just using your, your namespace here to uh, to identify. And then I would like to call it my package as a vol test. And then for the basic area, and I would like to choosing um, test. Uh, for my for my BIU, for my basic step, I would like to call it uh, vault via RFC to because I would have to outbound output to the file to the XML file and then just pay attention to here the sender system type just click the button here and then and you will see there was a new type has been introduced um, in the latest version vault so because we would like to create um, this scenario uh, without um, any sender it, will be, it can be triggered by menu um, just click the star and then you will trigger or secondly, it can be triggered by the scheduler, not vendor, not not even not even triggered, but by the timer, by the scheduler every midnight or every week. So just choose vault here. And by the way, and the scheduler only only um, the scheduler um, setting um, later one. Um, we're going to do that. It's only valid um, when the sender is vault. Just makes sense to the vault without vault. Uh, without any sender so it makes sense so for the receiver uh, for this case um, I'm just very simple one um, create a file or even you can output to the business one um, sales order as well but just for the sample demo here I just create a file just choosing the file and the system here and then for the um, sender object type here I'm just choosing the default one, vault, vault object, default nothing, uh, stand for nothing. And then for my receive object, I just create a new one by myself. I will name it as um, file out object. That's the, my new object to be created. So just click the generate, to generate the base package. Okay, as a result, and the B1ISM tools help me to generate this package, the name, and the business area. Okay, looks everything looks good. And then just close this one, and then I would like to um, switch to have a look at my business package just now created. Okay, that's XX uh, vault 